Do you want to create your own AI based search engine? Well, you might have already heard about different search engine APIs that you need to pay for and get internet based results through AI. But here in this video, we're going to see how we can create our own open source AI based or better to say Gen AI based search engine with components that we choose and we customize. Then let's go. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, now let's first start with how we can create our own sort of AI backed search engine that we can have like a server that when you send any search query, it will give you your response back through leveraging capabilities of Gen AI like large language models not necessarily having a typical search results that you see on, let's say when you go and just search on Google we're gonna get the answer of our search based on internet not just snippets of our search result and bunch of URLs so what we're gonna do here in this video let's assume that you have a search query that you want to ask anything that is the answer of that depends on live internet data something that language models by itself doesn't know the answer let's say if i ask ask about news stock market or whatever this is sort of a query that i need to have access to internet data so then we're going to send it to google search and given that we're going to talk about an open source solution you can leverage any api that can give you the search result back so any api that i use here is just an example so here i'm using serp api which i'm going to show you how for sending my query to google search api and then in order to rank how search or re search results are relevant to the search query i'm using gina re-ranking model so which we're going to talk about that what is this re ranker model this is a model trained for mainly uh, re-ranking your retrieval results whether it's rank or search results here to check which one are relevant to the query which one are not to make sure we just grab um, relevant queries responses and then when we have these URLs and snippets, we need to extract the content out of that URL. It's like because Google search, we just give you the snippet and the URL. So you need to go and grab the content from that web. Or you can also use some other APIs that I talked about, like, like Exa or Tavily. These APIs, which are paid one, you can get all the results back from your search without web scrapping or reading the web content by yourself. They give you the full content of the search results. And then for having a language model to interpret what is the search and what is the web result to give you the answer, you're using Meta uh, Llama model using Grok, which is an inferencing server. I'm going to talk about that as well. And then finally, we have the final result. So this end-to-end -end solution is already implemented by a project called Open Perplex. And if you go to Open Perplex here, I can ask any question, let's say MG Cafe videos on ai for example i'm not sure if you'll understand what i mean here but let's see so here technically what is happening on backend is exactly what i just for what you've walked through about the architecture and as you can see it is finding uh, sources by my search api then giving it to a large language model and doing some re-ranking stuff and as you can see it's talking about the videos i'm creating about my youtube channel as well so this is not typically something that maybe if you ask a language model especially if my channel is new will know about it and it will give you also some follow-up questions that you can ask uh, from for example this is the previous video i recorded on my channel before recording this video and that's why it suggested that i can ask more about this topic so this one comes with a price, but there is an open source version of that, which I'm going to walk, provide you a walkthrough on how we can utilize this open source version of Open Perplex, which is here in this GitHub repo. So what you need to do in this GitHub repo, you just need to clone this repository. By the way, they do have front end and back end, but I just want to use the back end to show you on back end how it works so you can use it for your applications. Now for the back end, you just need to 
clone this repository and as we talked about this is the process that using Gina I thought that I talked you about it and you need to pip install requirements that comes with this package here which is it should be somewhere here there you go it is here so make sure you have everything installed and then you have to put some API keys in order to have that architecture show you in the environment variable file so if you open that up you'll see that it used Grok API. So what is Grok again? Grok is an inferencing server that you can have any open source model called from here. For example, here you need to by the way create an account and they're hosting Llama for you. So you don't need to uh, run Llama locally or have all those configurations. Just need to have an API key and call Llama they provide in on Grok server, which I'm gonna show you. Now about Gina. So I told you about Gina API GPO is actually a re-ranker model that has been trained to give you more accuracy in your retrieval, let's say rack or search results with 1 million free tokens they provide. So this is technically what they do. They are trying to check whenever any chunk of data you grab from your own data or, or web, this re-ranker will help which one are relevant, which one are not to give you a sorted chunks of data to LLM, which is pretty helpful here. And this is actually what happened when you enable the uh, pro mode of this open source search which I'm going to show you, they use Gina. Seper is actually our main API for searching internet and this is actually their website seper.dev you need to just sign up, uh, grab, uh, grab your API key and technically this is just a Google search result that they give you access to which they are, they are saying that they're one of the fastest and cheapest technically. So again you might say that okay it was supposed to be open source but look I'm, I'm paying all these APIs. First of all, all these APIs, they come with a free uh, sort of capacity. So up to certain amount of amounts or calls, you can have it all for free. So for this video, I tried everything for free. I haven't paid any of this API yet. But that doesn't mean you must use Jira or you must use Serpa for your search or you, might, you must use Grok for Llama. You can replace that with anything. If you have a search API that is free for you, do it. If you have uh, Llama running locally on your machine, you don't need Grok to pay to host that model for you. You can have it running locally for free of charge. And this open source project, but I've used Cohere for chunking and semantic, but we don't use it for now, so I actually excluded that. So that said, after having these API keys in that environment, you just need to run this command to have this backend server running locally on your machine. So let me show you how. All right, here it is. So I uh, clone my repo, and as you can see, main.py is the main code that sort of orchestrate everything. So let's take a look. It's using fast API to create a backend server here. And as you can see, the main route, which I'm going to enable search, is actually here. So what here this function will do is try to first create all the sources from that search API based on the query that you ask. And let's see how it is doing that. So get sources actually is coming from source sources searcher so if i click on uh sources searcher you can see that it's using the server api that i told you about so i have added my key stuff inside this environment variable and you can see it is checking that what is the location you want to do search the default is us if you don't add anything it's going to be us and then it will grab your query it go to that api and start to get the res uh, responses back through that search api so this is the very first thing you do inside main.py now going back to the main, after getting the source, I'm going to actually populate the sources. We populate, I mean we are grabbing the content out of the web URLs that we receive from our search results. So how we're doing that, there's a function that they are using from Langchain called Web Base Loader, and they are by default they're getting maximum 4,000 uh, uh, characters of that web. But again, this can be any other uh, web scrapper that it's uh, crawl for AI is another open source package that uses LLM to for web scrapping. So there are too many different ways that you can do. So it is up to you if you want to do that with any way. But this is just an example with Langchain, which is also open source. Now with having that web contents also backed again, and by the way also re-ranking that. Now I want to get the answers back. So get answers using a prompt, which is here, and under prompt. This is actually the search that I'm gonna, the prompt that it will be used to see the search results and answer the user. 
but again this is also pretty optional you can come here change it modify it let's say if you want to have extended search results detailed search results you can write it down here so llm knows how to respond to you based on the web search results capture that we're going to give it to um to the model all right so going back to the main by the way before we go to back to the main in order to see how you do this is that prompt is being used in Croak API, which we are using Croak Llama model for seeing the search results and answering to you, that prompt is coming from the this prompts.py, and here we are just saying that hey LLM, this is the search results, this is the date of today to just give more context about it, and this will get the response of search results back. The other function will propose you some more relevant question that you can ask from your search result. This is like how I showed you at the beginning of the video. It proposed me some more questions that I asked based on what, what I asked previously. And that's all. With having all these calls, it's going to retrieve or yield the results and also the relevant questions back if you want to to the API. So for running this, as I just mentioned, let me go to the terminal. I have already installed all the packages that I showed you, and I have my API key. I just need to call unicorn main.app and it will run this server locally on my machine. So if I click on it, let's see, I'm going to show you my um, browser in another tab. All right, there you go. It's here. So it says, hello world, open perplex v1. So it's not showing anything because I haven't added any search. But in order to add your own search, this is how we can do it based on how the API is defined on the back end. You just need to call your local server, but if you deploy this on, let's say, on cloud, on Azure Web App, or any place, that URL is going to be different. But here it's just my local machine. Then you use a slash search, then query, then the same query that I asked on the UI at the beginning of the video, and the date, which is date of today, and a stored location. I didn't add anything, so it's going to use US, which is the search result location. And I said promo mode, it's true, that means it's going to use the Jira re-ranking capability. So I hit enter. As you can see, it's working. So it captured the data snippets from all different URLs. These are different URLs and their snippets, maybe, I don't know, 10, 20, whatever. You can define that. And then finally, it's it provides the answer. Here are some YouTube videos related to MG Cafe on AI. And this, this is actually correct. These are list of recent videos I created. So what we did, we just technically right now, we created sort of our own um, search, open source search API backed by LLM and all the ranking stuff we talked about. And for, again, this part that does the search, you can use any search API that you want. You can exclude re-ranking or use some open source other ranking model if you want to. For scrapping the content from web, you can have your own web scrapper code. You can use beautiful soup. You can use Curl for AI, all different packages, or you can use some other ready search APIs like Tavily and Exa to have the content comes with your search results. So you can maybe apply your own re-ranking on the top of it. And then Grok was the main reason that I used my inferencing for LLM. But if you have uh, open source language models you want to run locally you don't need croak at all and then your final result is back so this is technically the back end on back end of all main ai based search engines that we see they're evolving so i wanted to provide you this walkthrough and show you how you can potentially create it by yourself it's not that hard and when you have that knowledge you can customize it in any way you want to have to find a solution add it to your own project i hope you enjoyed this video and by the way i will add the link of this github repo and the codes to the discord channel you click on it in the video description you will go to the discord channel and there's a section called reference section you will be there and you can check the, uh, the github link and if you like the video i would be very thankful if you click on like and share your comments thank you so much the mouse dies in my strap because it doesn't understand why the cheese is free Dream big, my friends. Believe in yourself and take action. Till next video. Thank you.